as you can see right there, it's the advertising voice, the good, bad, and the ugly. So I just, I just want to say, before, um, I know good, bad, and ugly, but it doesn't matter if you're ugly. <laughs> even if you think you're ugly, even yeah. if you are, it doesn't matter because I, it's I the agree. voice. I agree yeah. with that because yeah. um, I have a face for radio. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, Rahul, your many, many years of experience as a voicing artist and then a studio owner as well. Now, considering the way the show is run today, the entire industry is very different compared to when we started. What's your stand on it today? Um, there's a lot of things that we can uh, talk about that we're not happy with. Uh, but just I'm just going to highlight a couple of things before I get to the good part of it. Um, firstly, it is... The way the industry works is there is a client who sets a budget and then he goes to a producer and then the producer contracts talent, in short us, singers, musicians, everybody, along with other people. So if the budget is 100 rupees and the producer takes the 100 and goes and hires talent, everybody gets paid well. The client still paying 100 but there's producer B who goes and says, so where does the 30 rupees go? The client is happy, he's saying, yeah man, I'm getting the same product for 70 rupees, why should I pay 100? So that 30 rupees gets cut from all of us, if you say yes. So we are cutting down our own paycheck by accepting lower fares from a producer who has cut down another producer just to get the job. If he has cut down to get the job, then he should face the brunt of it because he's building his showreel, not you. So that's the ugly part of it. So, you know, those are the things that you need to be aware of, especially if you're entering the industry. That if somebody comes and says, Itnai paisai kar lena, you should say, no man, this is my rate. I have set my rate and this is what I charge and I will stick to it. If you go below that, you're cutting yourself for the future. There's also a new trend, which is uh, the WhatsApp trend. Um, where they send you the lines. So this is the script. Uh, when you do that, um, see, you don't get paid to just do a voiceover. As a voice artist, that is why you are an artist. Okay, you're a voice artist. As an artist, you get paid to interpret the script. And sometimes to write it as well. Yeah, that's, that's option B. So you get paid to interpret the script, not just to voice it. So if, if there's a line, for example, I gave this example just recently to somebody where it's Mr. Bachchan's line. He says, Rish de mito hum ke baap lagte hai. That line. Now the way he says it, everybody says it the same way till today. Why? Because that's how he perceived that line. Okay, if he had said it, then it would have been different because that's not his perception. So you're also getting paid to interpret the script. So don't cut yourself short. Uh, you want me to talk for the good as well right now? Please do. <laughs> so there's good also, yay. That's why we're in this industry. Uh, I just jotted down a few points. So for me, this is uh, my personal uh, opinion. What I like about this industry, why I like to be in this industry is there's a new challenge every day. Uh, when your usual clients call you, they just say, are you free at two o'clock? Can you come to the studio? And you say, okay or not okay. And when you land up at the studio, you really don't know what you're there for. You know, it's like, okay, whatever. They've called me, so I've gone. And then say, okay, today you have to be a cop. Uh, today you're playing the father of the bride, today you're playing so-and-so, or today you have to do a voice from a Hollywood movie, you know, and that's that's fun for me. I like I get to play these different characters. That, that's the good answer. part about it. You get to use your voice, you get to be different characters. Um, I like watching movies and imbibing characters from the movies, whether it's Hindi, English, whatever. And that's a great place to start from because it helps you build your repertoire of characters. Uh, I love superhero movies, so I watch them again and again. Uh, I like to do their voices, so you can only do it if you listen and record it in your hard drive here, not on your computer. 
Absolutely. Well said, Rahul. Thank you. Coming to that point of, you know, how artists, as an artist, you get the opportunity to perform on the mic. I think it's a beautiful chance to express yourself creatively. But sometimes, ye creatively bahut talented logon ko bhi mauka nahi milta hai. We don't get the mic because we are told, sorry, the budget cannot afford you. So I cannot afford. Take home, I can't say, "Bulao, you are very much charged." Karti, okay? So this is a sentence which I'm sure a lot of you in this room have heard, right? So, Omkar, what's your take on this? Considering you've hired like maybe few hundreds of voices till date. Actually, the popular notion is that budgets are reducing. Budgets are reducing. I don't agree with that uh, entirely. I don't think the budgets are reducing. I think the insecurity is increasing. So uh, senior people, you know, they need to show more pride and junior people need to show more spine. You know, if I am telling somebody who's worked 10 years that he needs to do that VO in 7,000 instead of his regular, whatever it may be, 30, 20. And if he or she agrees, it's actually shameful. I mean, you know, have some more pride in what you do. My uh, job is to try and bargain. And... Uh, because we are also insecure of losing every gig, you know. Oh shit, if because there are 10 others waiting to do it, there's a problem of parity in the industry. And uh, all of us eventually offer something similar. Unless you have some unique, unique differentiator, uh, I'm not going to reach out to you. Uh, so, because of this rising insecurity and the rising number of people who do this, uh, we are driving our costs further and further low. The budgets are there. So as producers and uh, agency people, we are happy because we get to keep that money. Next time you hear budget, nahi hai, uh, especially on bigger brands, right? I mean, uh, if the if the ad is for any e-com player or telecom or, uh, you know, pharma, these are really large industries with a lot of money. Uh, and not just for the celebrities, there's large money. Uh, and I refuse to believe that an ad that is made for 40L affords only 7,000 for a view artist, you know. So I think we all need to, as creators, pull our socks up and take greater pride in what we do and say, nahi yaar, main nahi karega, you know. And lose a job once in a while, it's okay, the next one is coming. Thank you, Omkar, that's such a valid point. In fact, we did start a movement <laughs> to raise the minimum basic for artists, I'm sure everyone is aware. Praswa, if I may ask you about yeah. how do you think we can pull this off? Because we've done this, okay? We've struggled. We did uh, take the initiative. We started a movement for all the language voices. There's any Tagi said master films or whatever. But how do you propose we take this forward? What's the solution? See, it all, it all, it's all in our hands. It's how you perceive yourself as an artist, as a voice artist. It's how you value your talent, your craft. So you, accordingly, you charge according you set your rate if you feel that okay i am i am a good talent i'm a reasonably good talent i can charge say 6000 or 8000 i've just come into the line i'm 2 years down the line i can charge that you charge that confidently don't give different rates to different producers if unconsciously you are undercutting yourself unconsciously you are creating insecurity in yourself Unconsciously, you're taking away somebody else's job. For example, suppose you set a rate of 8,000 rupees for a 30-second TVC, okay? And the producer comes back to you and says, you know, uh, you're saying eight, yaar, budget nahi hai. can you do it for six? And you're thinking like it's 2,000 less, chal karte hai. Invariably, you've taken, a, taken away a job of another guy who's charging 6,000. That is undercutting. And that is where you're taking away somebody else's job and you are you know, uh, doing something that's not good for the industry. Undercutting is not good. You've got to maintain your rate. Have confidence in your talent to say, this is my rate, this is what I'm going to charge, and this is what I'm worth. So once you stick to that, I think the industry, you know, will be in a good position to take this forward. I'm not talking about just uh, newcomers. I'm talking about us senior voice actors also. We are 10, 15 years, 20 years down the line and you see fresh talent coming in, right? Very talented voices. And you know, you experience them in the studio and you're like, wow, did I just hear that? And you know, like, what is he charging? Oh, he's charging 15,000. Okay, I'm charging 20. Should I reduce my rate? No, don't do that. That's another big mistake. 
you are you've been 20 years in the line for a reason you you're charging that rate for a reason because of your expertise because of what you can bring to the table that is different from the others right your craft your speciality so do not bring your rate down have that faith courage and confidence to command that rate and people will respect you the producer will respect you at the end of it if you do not come down i just want to add to what francois said when i started out uh, voicing i mean that was 15 years ago and pretty much in korean voicing at the same time so those two industries i just become part of and some of the senior voice people then even from ninad and pp they were really really nice to me when i was starting out in the studios they showed me their bill books they showed me what they were charge now i wasn't going to charge what they were charging but they said hey this is what we do for a master this is what we say for an edit this is what we say for a buyout so whatever your rate is try and stick to that you know at least you've got your rate try and stick to the same level and into same format as they do so if somebody called me and said they wanted a buyout for a year i say i charge 10 times now somebody else's rate may be something different but i stick to that because you're respecting what the other people are standing for so even like you said if you try and change that as well hey no i'll do it at five times the amount you're affecting somebody else who's trying to keep a balance within the industry so no matter what stick to what your principles are we'll stick to the formula unless they offer you 100 ads and then you okay i'll charge you for 85 yeah you know just say no 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 <laughs> it's very easy for producers to break us yeah very easy thank you for saying that that just a snap okay they can make you dance so it's up to us artists voice artists to stay strong and be together be weak be connected we cannot think that why is this job not coming to me why is it going to him i can do a better job but i remember this saying dane dane pe likha hai khane wale ka naam what is destined to you will come to you there is enough of work to go around for everybody and i am living proof of it i've been 23 years in this line and i only voice in english and i've still survived no doubt i sing too i sing in hindi too okay but i do not voice in hindi but i have survived so i am living proof that if you stick to your rate command that rate with respect and dignity you will get it you will get it. i completely agree the one big quality which i believe a lot of voice artists lack these days is integrity and it's i mean it hurts me to say this but honestly i wish i saw more of it because as a child artist i saw it i'm sure we all saw it when we were younger people are just far more scared today and i completely agree with you know all you guys and since we are standing with you all especially the newcomers we are standing by your side the formula has worked for us it will work for you just have patience yeah we've so, not been scared so as yes. in we're not scared now we yeah. also have the power of social media now <laughs> but yeah no <laughs> when you want to but say yeah. something <laughs> All right, I want It's just about getting paid what what is due to you rather than somebody else profiting because the money is there client is giving it so if it's a hindustan lever or a colgate or pepsi or whoever they are putting out that 100 rupees and saying give us our ad they are not they are not getting down into how much did the voice artist get paid they are saying we paid everybody we paid our 100 rupees it's the producer who is keeping that 30 rupees because he wants to buy a ferrari I should have a question for you. Does this apply to your acting front as well? Are you facing something similar there or is just us who are suffering like this? You know acting and No, I have acting. a manager for acting. I am my own manager for voicing. Yeah, you know, so uh acting I don't have to worry about uh That's yes, nice. if you shoot for TV, you don't have the choice. Then 3 months will come, you know, payment will come later. Um it's just in the in the voice industry you just have to deal with it all by yourself because like i said we've never really had that organization or even as uh, chetan um in it was brought out today that there's an entire industry thing sir mai mai check mai collect karunga you know so it is something that we need to fix and regulate and i, I mean yeah you can wait a little bit for your payments but uh, the amount of time some people take i mean also thankfully and i've got to be grateful for the senior members in the voice industry who fought for all of us to get our edit money absolutely and at least now people tell you they call you says sir 
we have two edits yeah, which so is stick i mean to that the formula, i cannot yes. tell you that that change in the last 10 years of people actually telling you we they even tell you uh, just bill for the master next week we'll tell you what edits we have it's that's amazing i need to address you tandan ji uh ek bahut hi unclear vague area hai hamare liye copyright ki hamari awaaz kiski property hai right what happens to our voice once it's we've just signed it off randomly to some Uh, vendor registration form and then they can use their you know your voice wherever so obviously it's a very very vast topic i understand but key points that you believe every artist in this room needs to know well uh, going by the caption the good bad and ugly <clears throat> the good part which i as a copyright person see is the voice the voice is the best part of the entire thing you are the best part of it so all of you need to realize and i'm so happy to see that you have realized that and uh, <clears throat> the aspect that now there are things like edits happening in uh, the advertising field is a great this thing it is not happening in television it is not happening now in films now with the short form of the films coming in so you know you're still way ahead as far as uh, your predecessors have uh, fought it and got it for you don't lose this opportunity now so the only thing that is required now is an organizational aspect of it the organizational aspect of it is lacking in the advertising industry as far as the voice artists are concerned the good part as i said is the voice the bad part which we faced when i faced in 1990 after i heard the awa and every one of you who had given me the <coughs> the indication technically and legally voice was considered to be a mere vocal instrument now that really caught my guts and it's you know in one of the uh, seminars in delhi lata ji and me were sitting and this was told by some big big uh, politician i i won't name him and that's really that really hit us very badly and we took up upon ourselves from that day to start uh, fighting for this for the voice aspect of it whether the voice is vocal voice or whether it is a singing voice voice is a voice so therefore we said nothing doing all this bullshit we are not vocal instruments we are artists so first i am happy that you call yourself voice artist so that is important so please understand you are artist you are a great amount you are similar like amitabh bachchan so please understand don't devalue yourself okay and as rightly said in the panel just now that if that is your value take that value don't undermine that value okay so as far as copyright is concerned we fought for it from 1990 and the good part is again that in 2012 the law was amended and in 2012 the law is amended to say that every voice of course every voice or rather you are nothing but a performer so you are a performer all of you are performers somebody performs audio visually somebody performs it audio so all of you as voice are the audio performers singers are audio performers so as performers the law has now granted you please understand this very very important thing law has now granted you that any place where your voice is being exploited commercially you are entitled for a right to royalty you have to get it no doubt about it now considering our industry everywhere whether it is in television advertisement or film <coughs> or the music koi cheez agar hoti hai to producer sabse pehle agar aap se le sakta hai to wo le lega he will snatch it away that is the ugly part of it so the point was if the law gives it in one hand and the sahukar or the landlord is going to take it and grab it from the other what's the use of the artist so what we did and javed sahab joined us and uh, what we fought with the government and luckily uh, the entire parliament unanimously all parties put together i'm quite surprised how that happened but it happened by the grace of god because all of you are voice voice people right so i consider all voice people and all performers as gods so you are god so god has only done that nobody has done it okay so <clears throat> the law said nothing doing in spite of the artist signing away all his copyrights to a producer or to an assignee that's the word used he will still be entitled to royalties 
guess none of us i mean i'm sitting fantastic. out here okay. saying that i have a new life in front of me now yeah and no one and further no one can take this right of royalty from you in writing if anyone takes that any contract takes that it is invalid and void in terms in the eyes of law so it is written in law it is not said by me or anybody or the court or something by law that contract is invalid rather that clause you can't say the entire contract it's huge contract 32 pages one so the 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 clause which is pertaining to copyright assignment is invalid so please understand now at least the law has given you government to apna kaam kar diya sab ne apna kaam kar diya hum log ne jo ladai ke ladte hain hum log ne bhi apna kaam kar diya now the ball is in your court you have to stand up to that and say yes i need my royalties i still know in the other spheres of the activities like the television and the film etc people are still saying okay don't give me royalties now the law has given you and now you are saying oh i don't want it here you have an opportunity now the youngsters that in future if, if even in, in in the present if you do some work which is going to be everlasting long lasting you can rest assured that you're going to get royalties out of it yeah but can Who i just say you said good the good bad and ugly i'm just going to say yeah we i'm sure we've discussed the bad and ugly but the good thing i mean even, yes i'm an actor i'm also a voice over artist there's nothing better than this job yeah. you go to an ac studio you work for half an hour another half an hour you have chai and chat to the engineer always chat to the engineers because 5 years down the line they're going to open a studio and they're going to rec- recommend you so always make friends with the you know i get a lot of work now because of all the time i've said hello and chilled with the engineers from famous studios to everywhere else now they all banda car sent crews and they say hey call ashwin i'm sure they could say call you guys as well but yeah, yeah this like like francois said enough work for all of us precious tip it's a really really cool job and if you're lucky enough to be doing it and saying hey i'm earning money out of it that's unbelievable so thanks for that that is true <laughs> guys thank you so much the panel was awesome fun and uh, everyone please a big round of applause for the experts right here next to me thank you so much <laughs>